Hi Redeemer Kids, Laura Lavab here with another week of Redeemer Kids at home. Are you guys excited for today? Remember, we've got that special announcement coming up at the end of the video, so be sure to stay tuned. Now remember our Bible verse, we have been learning about how God must increase, but we must decrease. In our Bible memory passage, that's John the Baptist talking. And we're gonna take a look at one of the stories of John the Baptist so that we can see what he meant when he said that he must increase, but I must decrease. All right, you guys, let's take a look. Jesus and his disciples went out into the countryside. People came to see them and Jesus taught the people. Many people were baptized. Nearby, John the Baptist was baptizing people too. Some of the people who followed John got into an argument. They went to John. Teacher, they said, remember the man you talked about, the one who was with you on the other side of the Jordan River? His disciples are baptizing people and people are starting to follow him. John's followers were talking about Jesus. John answered them, You heard me say that I am not the Messiah. I am the messenger who goes before him to announce that he is coming. This was true. John had said, Someone greater than me is coming. I am not worthy to remove his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. John tried to explain by talking about a wedding. When two people get married, the man who marries the bride is the groom. His friend stands with him at the wedding, and he is happy to be there and hear the groom's voice. John also knew that a wedding is the groom's special day. The groom's friend should not make it about himself. This was how John felt, like a groom's friend, because he was happy that Jesus, the Messiah, had come. John said, Jesus must increase, but I must decrease. Then John explained why Jesus was more important than himself. John was from the earth and he could only talk about things on earth. Jesus, the one who comes from heaven, talked about things in heaven because he had seen them. Still, no one believed what Jesus said. Whoever believes Jesus knows that God tells the truth. God sent Jesus to earth and Jesus speaks God's words. The Father loves the Son and has given him power over everything. Whoever believes in the Son will have eternal life, but whoever refuses to believe in the Son will not have eternal life. He will never be able to get away from God's judgment. John the Baptist told people to get ready for Jesus, the promised Messiah. Now that Jesus was on earth, John's mission was complete. Jesus was greater than John, and John joyfully stepped aside as Jesus began his earthly ministry. What an awesome story that really happened. The life of John the Baptist pointed to Jesus. His life and his ministry pointed people to Jesus. And did you guys know that our lives can point people to Jesus too? We can tell other people about how amazing God is and we can show them God's love through our actions. Now, this weekend, our church is celebrating something called Ascension. Do you guys know what Ascension is? Ascension is when Jesus ascended into heaven. Jesus ascended into heaven. He went up into heaven after he died on the cross and was rose again, he ascended into heaven. And Jesus went to heaven to prepare a place for us, to prepare a place for us in heaven. But he didn't leave us alone. In fact, he sent something to us. He sent his Holy Spirit. He sent his Holy Spirit to be with us. All right, we're gonna play a game. Do you guys wanna play a game? Huh? Let me hear you say you want to play a game. Do you want to play a game? You want to play a game? All right, let's play a game. We are going to play a game called Does It Have the Power? 
So for this game, I'm gonna show you guys something and you are gonna tell me either yes, it has the power, or no, it doesn't have the power. All right, so you're either gonna flex your arms or cross your arms. Are you guys ready to play? Let's play. All right, let's check out this weight and this string. Does this string have the power to lift this weight? All right, flex your muscles if you think yes. Cross your arms if you think no. Does it have the power? Woo! It does! It's got the power! All right, get ready for round two. This can versus this hammer. Does this hammer have the power to crush this can? Does it have the power? You ready? All right. Flex your muscles if you think yes, it has the power. Fold your arms if you think no, it doesn't have the power. Ready? Whoa! It's got the power. All right, another round of does it have the power? Last, we have this three-year-old. Does this three-year-old have the power? The power of the Holy Spirit, does he have the power? All right, flex your arms if you think yes, and cross your arms if you think no. Let's see. Hey, Wixom, who is Jesus? God. Yeah! He's got the power! All right, are you guys ready for one last round of Does it have the power? All right, I wanna see, do you guys have the power? Do you have the power of the Holy Spirit? So, flex your arms for yes, I have the power of the Holy Spirit. Or, cross your arms for no, I do not. All right, are you guys ready? Yes! We do have the power of the Holy Spirit through faith in Jesus. We have the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's awesome. All right, well, I think you guys have been waiting long enough. Let's check out the special announcement video. Are you guys ready for the special announcement? Let's take a look. Announcing God's great right here an at-home camp experience unlike any other and designed with you in mind. Grow in God's word as we learn about amazing animals and incredible insects, all from the comfort of our own homes. Collect badge stickers as you journey through four weeks of Bible stories at your own pace. Keep your findings in your field notes book and enjoy this low screen time, family-friendly adventure. Sign up now to be part of God's great right here. Right here, God's great. And God's great right here. Wow, I am so excited that we get to announce God's great right here this weekend. So I hope you guys will sign up and you'll join us for that awesome adventure that takes place in our homes. So you'll wanna sign up, get ready, get registered. We'll send you your packet or you can pick it up at church and you can join us for this awesome, awesome experience called God's great right here. All right, well, I think we should close with a word of prayer. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you that our lives can point to you. Lord, we pray that you would be with us this week and always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, I'll see you back next week and have an awesome week. And remember, you got the power. All right, you really do though. All right, I'll see you guys. <laughs> Bye, have a good one. <laughs>